Hello. Hello, Janaki Raman. Yes, Bobby. Yes, sir. we have a class today. I know. I'm oh. on my way. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you are already here. Yes. How are you? Good, Bobby. How are you? Good, good. So, Bobby, I wanted to start this class with a phone call. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call you first. Okay. Okay. As you can see, it is ringing. Sure. Okay. I'll pick it up now and keep it near my ear. What do you notice? Oh, the display is suddenly off. Yes. So, the display is off. Right. Now, when I keep it down here, all it's I have back. to do is go cover this point. Oh. Right. And, you know, the phone senses that probably my ear is close to it, which means I'm making a call. It shuts off the display. Okay. 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 Right. So, this is a very intelligent feature of any smartphone, mm -hmm. right? I mean, this is not there in your Nokia 1100, for example, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. Uh, of course, that didn't need it because the battery would last forever in any case, right? But smartphones today are able to hold its battery for this long only because of its very smart power. Features like this. Yeah. Power, you know, power management features like mm -hmm. this, right? So, the question is, you know, Clearly, the display seems to be taking a lot of power, energy. Now, how do you estimate or how, do, how does the phone inside even make such measurements or, you know, take such calls of, you know, okay, maybe I should shut off this display now or I should shut off that other thing, right? So, in some sense, it needs to know, first of all, how much current is being drawn by each component in the phone. Correct, correct. Right. And uh, this is, you know, this can be done. H how do you think this can be done? Maybe uh, we need some current sensors in. Uh... Right. Yeah. So you need some measurement Correct. devices. Correct. Right. So if you take, you know, uh, for example, let's just look at a simple, you know, a phone. Right. There is a microprocessor, right. Some processor which is going to handle all the processing. You know, it can be calls, it can be your operating system. Everything is handled by that, right? Then there's another component, uh, which is obviously the display that you just saw, right? Mm. So there is the display, right? And maybe a third component, which is maybe the antenna system, Correct. which is going to, right? Antenna system, right? And all of these are being powered by the same battery. Yeah. Right. So there is actually, if you look at it, uh, there is a battery here. And if you remember, do you remember this voltage? Something like 3.7. Exactly. Yeah. 3.8 volt maybe. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. And effectively, what is going to happen is this is going to go to a power management unit. Power management unit means. Uh... So this is some sort of an IC. Mm -hmm. inside this on that board which okay. is basically going to you know take all this battery power and distribute it to all the internal components okay. but this guy is very smart uh -huh. it knows when to turn on something like you saw right okay. it knows that you're taking it close to the ear therefore i shut off the display at that point so if you make a call for example for one hour right then just the display being on for that much time will drain your battery out. Totally unnecessarily. Totally <laughs> unnecessary, right? So typically this is, you know, what will happen. You have these guys, you know, controlling these blocks like this, right? So it's, uh, you know, not just the battery that will go directly, right? But in any case now, so let's say that, you know, this microprocessor is drawing a current I1 of T. Now, this clearly, as you can see, it cannot be a DC current. It cannot be a direct current. Yeah. Right? It, it's going to vary over time. So, depending on the activity, the current drawn will be different. Exactly. Depending okay. on what you are trying to do. If you are doing some gaming, then it will do something else. So, there is also something called a low power mode, if you have seen in your yeah. phone, right? And Correct. it will tell you that all the background app refresh will be cut off. Yes. Right? So, those are software decisions where the operating system is saying okay i need to cut off all these activities applications 
right? But there is also hardware control, like okay. we saw the display, right? So the power management unit will pass this information to the operating system. Some processing will be done, and then a decision will be sent back. Okay. And accordingly, the power, you know, will be turned on, turned off for various blocks, right? So you have I two of T, right? and you have you know the uh, antenna system which is basically going to be some i3 of t right so let's try to hypothetically sketch you know what would have happened in this process for the i2 of t for i1 i2 of t and Together. all that right okay. so let's say you know this is the time i1 of t is the microprocessor current so when you're not making a call or something what do you think very low very low but there is some, some background current because correct. operating system is still active correct, monitoring correct. something and all correct. that so there is going to be some background correct. current yeah right now you decide to make a call at some point and then let's say you place it straight away to your ear right okay so out here obviously you know the current uh, the microprocessor could be doing something more or something less i don't know it depends and on the power at the antenna side so antenna side and all that so, so definitely there will some be some small increase in current will be there right? so this is the time we are trying to make a call okay right and what about i2 of t ha huh. this is the display yeah right so you made a call before that your phone was down here and let's say it was unlocked right and or let's so, say it was this is a period yeah so let's say your phone was locked okay okay that means the display is already off and all okay. that so there is almost no current then you unlock it you you dial i started drawing current right? you start drawing current so then there will be a small surge in current right and then you keep it near your ear okay so it's right? turned off again it's turned off again so it's basically going to come back like this and let's assume that through the entire duration of the call you speak with the phone right next to your ear right so therefore you know this microprocessor current is going to be as high during the duration of the call right and here again you you probably lock your phone and let's assume that you don't consume any over here right now what about i3 of t uh the antenna system during the call time alone it will be exactly yeah. right so it's going to be basically zero very low maybe very yeah. low maybe yeah. for a significant period of time and then it's going to go high during the call okay and then it's back to zero right so in some sense the uh power management unit and you know these things need to make these power estimates continuously over time right so how, how will you do this okay all of these are obviously being powered by the same battery yeah right so there is a 3.8 volt so each of these has an instantaneous power right and uh, so this is simply what the vdd okay which is the 3.8 volt into mm -hmm. the i1 i1 of, of t right and as you can see clearly this is going to be varying with time right Correct. in the in the first week if you remember we did all these discussions with just dc true we said steady state current was drawn what happened to the battery but in reality it's going to be like this okay so some i1 of t similarly p2 of t is you know it's into i3 of t i mean i2 of t i'm sorry so uh, vdd is uh, 3.8 yes okay okay and p3 of t is going to be vdd into i3 of t right so obviously you can now calculate the total power right which is just the summation of individual powers and these are all instantaneous powers and what matters is the energy right now energy is obviously going to be uh, the integral of power over time right and let's say we wanted to do it from zero till the time the call was over okay zero to t not okay so you can clearly see that you know the display has a very sort of sort of a peak power in this yeah period okay 
essentially we are now going to look at vdd is a constant so it comes out we are just looking at the area under this curve here right it doesn't matter this could even be something like this yeah all we care is now how do you find the area under this curve right and that's what this integral is telling us so you calculate the individual areas and then uh, multiply with vdd with vdd exactly okay. right and you will get you know so let's assume that this happened at some time t uh, t1 yeah. okay yeah uh, so this simply the total energy is going to be and of course we need to know what the peak current is right so this is some i peak okay let's assume that this i peak and this i peak are the same for now you know just for simplicity yeah right and this one is also i peak it could be we are just three, assuming assuming three different they could be three different numbers right so effectively it's just i peak into t1 minus t dot right or t not minus t1 both oh sorry 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 you are right i just went by yeah t not minus t1 and then this uh, for the display it's actually just a small delta time yeah right let's assume this is delta this is i peak into delta plus the i peak okay into again t not minus t1 plus the i background right we are saying that the microprocessor consumes some background current here right into t0 maybe also oh, no no t1 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 exactly right yeah. so this whole thing you multiply by vdd and you get the net energy. energy right so you can make so one interesting experiment you know would be suppose this display turning off was not there was not there hmm. then how much of battery would you have used that uh, t0 minus t1 into i peak exactly into VDD, so yeah. this basically goes high right so yeah. if you look at if you look at this <coughs> guy the amount of energy you are saving because of this feature is this mm -hmm. right portion right so uh, you know let's discuss can you think of a way by which you can actually measure this on your mobile today the battery um, charge left out we can correct find. so let's so say that may give an approximate estimate okay so let's say that i i i make a i i note down how much of battery there was before my call yeah i make a call for some time i keep it near my ear i speak for 15 minutes yeah right and then i cut it and then do the same same just keeping here so that display is on exactly right so i just keep it down there with the display on and to be safe maybe we should use a recorded audio and say the same thing in both places <laughs> yes. so that everything else remains absolutely the same yeah right and then of course since we are physically in the same location we are assuming that the signal strength or the signal availability doesn't change and you are not losing energy because of that right so if you do this it is possible for us to actually figure out how much of energy this red yeah, portion yeah. is exactly right and uh, i think that's something i would urge our listeners to do just take your own mobile do this experiment as uh, you know bobby suggested in two different ways note down but you have to do it make sure you do the call for like 10 15 minutes because so there has to be a significant change in the battery it has to be measurable <laughs> yeah it has to be measurable and remember in the first week we said right you can't 1% may not be yeah. easy so do it for 10% or something like that correct and then you can figure out you know for the same duration of call exactly and if you use the same audio recording for the same thing everything else remaining the same the only difference in the battery right would be the displays energy right saved exactly displays mm -hmm. energy that is saved by such a feature so like we discussed time varying voltages right we saw the sinusoidal and other voltages and even the voltage from the microphone even your currents in these ic's are going to be function of time and you need to know how to operate um, 
and calculate the energy, power and various such quantities over time. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you.